Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Oh, I hope you're having a great day in the Lord. I know I am. I went out and got some groceries. My goodness, don't those prices just keep going up and up and up. But I know the Lord will take care of me and he will supply all my needs, right? We need to keep that those positive thoughts each time we go and those prices keep creeping up. We're going to be okay. We're going to get through it, right? All right. We got to have a good attitude about things, don't we? We can't let Satan throw us down in the dumps about things. Because we have a Savior that loves us so much. And he will provide. He absolutely will provide. All right. Let's get to our devotion for today. And the giveaway. Oh, yeah. Giveaways are fun, aren't they? Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. All right. Let's get to our devotion. The name of this devotion is, Are You Connected? Are you? Are your things in your home connected? What would happen if you unplugged your toaster, your microwave, your toaster oven, your lamps? What would happen? They wouldn't work. They'd be useless. They have no power. They have to be connected at the point of power. They have to be plugged into that outlet in order for it to work so it can draw its power from it. Are you connected in your faith? Are you connected to Jesus? Let's read our devotion. There was this hospital in Northwest um America Midwest and they thought that they were connected to a sprinkler system that would take care of any issues if they had a fire that it would be put out. Well come to find out it wasn't connected. Their system went four feet in the ground and it stopped. It what it did not connect to the main power um line of the city of water and if they would have had a fire they would have been burned and it would have been real tragedy and you have to make sure that things are connected in order for them to work in order for you to grow in your faith to be saved you have to be connected to the source Many people have an attitude regarding salvation. They've never been united to Christ, the source of living water. Although they are morally upright, deeply religious, or members, members of a church, they are lacking the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. This puts well-meaning people in per eternal peril. Have you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior? Only the righteousness of God received by faith will give you the assurance of salvation. Be certain you are united to him. He alone can forgive your sin and supply you with the water of life. Faith in Christ is the connecting link between man's sin and divine forgiveness. Now, as Christians, when we pledge our faith and our belief in Jesus... He forgives us of our sins, and we are connected to that living water, that power source. And we have to stay connected. It gives us access to the Holy Spirit, to the Father, and it, it helps us grow. And also, we need to study daily. We need to pray daily. Even if your prayer is a one-liner, when you're out driving, Lord, keep me safe on the roads today that I get to and from where I need to go and return home safely. Thank you, Lord. Lord, thank you for these wonderful groceries I was able to buy. Lord, isn't it a beautiful day today when you're out walking? And if you don't know what to pray, you can pray this. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the power, 
in the glory, in the kingdom forever and ever. Amen. Right? So that was a prayer that when the um, apostles asked, how should we pray? That's the prayer that he said. And it's a powerful prayer. It's a comforting prayer. Sing, song, sing spiritual hymns to yourself. If you can't memorize them, if you have an Alexa, have her play a song. And buy some CDs, musical CDs. And just fill your home with, with, with good Christian songs throughout the day. Oh, it will help lift your spirit like none other. I am currently making, making a list on Alexa. Um, Alexa, turn off. Um, you can't say her name because she comes on right away and wants to start doing something. So I have to be careful saying her name. So, gee, wouldn't it be great if us humans were as alert when we said our name or say a name, they would immediately respond to us? Well, there is a name that does, and that name is Jesus. And Jesus will always answer anything that we have to ask. He will never leave us and forsake us. So stay connected. Your appliances, your phone, everything else in your house that, that runs on power has to be connected to a source. The best source of power to be connected to, of course, is Jesus Christ our Lord. All right, everyone. Are you connected? All right. I hope you've enjoyed that devotion for today. All right. Let's talk about the upcoming giveaway. All right. Let's get the stuff out of the way first. You must be 18 years old to enter. You must leave a comment in the comment box. YouTube is not affiliated with us or any yarn company. It's open to the USA only. So that's the rules. And I put everything in the drop down box below for you. The giveaway will start today, March 2nd. And it will run through March 19th at midnight. On March 20th, a winner will be drawn. Hmm, and what will that winner receive, Suzanne? The winner will receive this crocheted heart coaster, this pot holder, and a $25 gift card. And I'll let you choose if you want it from Michael's or jo Joanne's. So, yeah. Or if you just want a general gift card. So, yeah. You let me know. And that will be the prize. So, in the comment box below, I want you to type in what you like about God, Crochet, and Chatter. Simple enough, right? All right. All right, everyone, I'm going to head out of here now. It's quarter to six. I still have dinner to make, and then I'm going to rest. I've had a big day. All right, everyone, Lord willing, I'll be back tomorrow on God, Crochet, and Shadow. God bless you all.